Hello, this is Mark Krikorian with the Center for Immigration Studies, and I am in Anapra, New Mexico, the Texas-Mexico border, right near El Paso. The fence behind us is actually relatively new. We have been speaking with a retired Border Patrol senior person who's telling us about what's going on down here. And the fence here, before this fence, which has been here less than two years, there was a chain link fence. That's all there was here. Uh, now, it's not right in the middle of the city, but it's not really that remote. And what happened with the controversy with President Trump wanting to build more wall and the Democrats in Congress uh, refusing, this was one of the places where, in a sense, they kind of split the difference because they said new wall construction was not permitted, but they could renovate uh, and restore, upgrade existing barriers at the border and the chain link fence that had been here was described as an existing border barrier that they upgraded to what you see here, a bollard fence, which, you know, nothing's uh, impenetrable, but makes it much more difficult to, you know, get over or get around. Uh, the whole point to fencing is not to stop crossings. It's to slow people down. In a sense, a, a fence or a wall like this at the border is not not in a derogatory sense, but it is a kind of glorified speed bump. It doesn't stop anybody, but it makes it harder to get over. Fewer people are able to do it. And Border Patrol is able to respond more quickly. It has time to intercept somebody that one of their cameras identifies or a ground sensor you know, is set off and they know somebody's there. They have time. Without a fence, they bolt across it and they're gone. Uh, and so in places like uh, El Paso, and this is you know the El Paso area basically, fencing is essential because without it, you only have seconds to try to stop somebody. With the fence, you may have minutes to identify and stop somebody, and that makes a big difference. That's the difference between preventing an illegal entry and um, you know not preventing it and uh, the illegal immigrant getting away with it. We'll have some other uh, videos coming up from our trip to the border. Uh, and for now, this is Mark Krikorian with the Center for Immigration Studies.